presidential candidate Beto O'Rourke brought his campaign to KC. The Texas Democrat who grew up in El Paso made headlines with his reaction to President Trump's response to the mass shooting there. KCTV5's Caroline Sweeney is live tonight with more on his visit. Caroline. Ellen, that's right. Beto O'Rourke came here to the Veterans Community Project. He took a tour of these tiny houses specifically designed for veterans. Now, he's not the first candidate to take a tour of this village while he was here in Kansas City. But organizers with the group tell me the more people who show up, the better chances veteran issues will be talked about. They ask two questions when a veteran walks in the door. One, did you serve this country? And two, do you need help? These tiny houses have made a big difference here in Kansas City. We moved in 13 residents on January 29th. But now, presidential candidates like Beto O'Rourke are helping to push them into the national spotlight. When a veteran moves in, uh, what, what is the understanding? For the former Texas congressman, the simple approach here can work everywhere. That's the way this country should treat every single veteran, regardless of where you live, how long ago you served, or for how long you served. So I, I take from this um, some inspiration. I think the federal government should fund through block grants innovative, ingenious programs like this one here in Kansas City. O'Rourke is back on the campaign trail. He spent time in El Paso after 22 people were killed in the border town two weeks ago. He was not in Iowa with the rest of the candidates, instead at home in Texas attending funerals. We're going to connect you. And what the Democrats saw today reminded him of how his home district worked to support veterans in need. Care delayed became care denied, led to some tragic outcomes. The community of El Paso, one of the poorest on paper in the United States, came together much the way the, the community of Kansas City is coming together here. Now, before Beto took a tour of these tiny houses, he spoke with volunteers and some of the organizers here at VCP. Ellen, coming up on KCTV 5 News at 10 o'clock tonight, we were able to sit down with him one on one and dig for deeper answers and ask bigger questions. So make sure you tune in to our exclusive one on one interview tonight at 10. Live in Kansas City, Missouri, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV 5 News.